More than two weeks since students here set up camp, and the Wesleyan Liberated Zone is the last remaining college encampment in Connecticut. Staying here and staying steadfast is really the least we can do for Palestinians who have asked and called upon us to divest. Campus protests spread across the U.S. and the world. Students calling on their universities to disclose and divest. We have alumni support. We have graduation coming up. We have people who are committed to being here until we get divestment. Organizers say 150 tents remain here at Wesleyan. Students standing strong, wanting to show support for people in Gaza. We've been here 15 days, all in, in solidarity with the Palestinian people who are undergoing some of the most horrific things we've seen happen to anyone. And that solidarity turning into action over the weekend as Wesleyan students passed a referendum on divestment, disclosure, academic boycott, and amnesty. We had more students than anyone on the WSA has ever witnessed vote on a student ref on a referendum for divestment, and it was overwhelmingly support. While Raudabush says the student referendum itself doesn't hold that much power, they believe it sends a message to the university. It was mostly a way of showing the board of trustees that, that we have mass support. They say students are in ongoing talks and negotiations with representatives from the board of trustees and will remain until the school commits to a process of divestment. We're not going to move and, and we're going to keep fighting until we get divestment. Fox 61 reached out to Wesleyan University for comment but did not hear back. Reporting in Middletown, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.